Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, no. oh my god. Oh. This is gonna get. Are we gonna have like five, six days of this? Uh, guys. So let's give you a little bit of lore about what's happening tonight. So a long, long time ago, in a place called Australia, uh, TPI was play testing Blood on the Clock Tower well before it was released well before we were playing it online well before any of that stuff and uh one of the things that they did was they had a whole bunch of playtest characters and obviously they still do most of them uh have either been released or they have been well they're still they're still around they're just hiding they just haven't come out yet however there is one unique situation that has happened with one character. Ten years this year, that's a good point. That's wild to think about. Uh, you know, 20, 2014 is when they started actually doing this thing. That's wild to think about. But Wow, yeah. I know. Um, but there was one character in particular that um, didn't really get a whole lot of love. And it was a playtest character that was indeed on a playtest script tool at some point and was allowed on Blood on the Clock Tower scripts at some point. Uh, but it was, it, it's in a very particular, unique situation now, which is that the uh, game has kind of moved on from it. The person who created it, uh, who uh, who kind of in, in gra who created the idea of it has decided that they really like it and they want it to continue, but TPI has said, uh, it's never going to make it into the game. So it's entered this kind of weird, as I used, as I was calling it before, a, a public domain. It's the only time I've ever seen this happen. This might be the only time this ever happens, but in essence, it was a character created by one of the original playtesters that went into TPI and TPI took it and was going to add it to the game and then decided that they didn't like it and they have officially said there is no chance this character is coming out and because of that person who created it you're welcome to reclaim it you are welcome to just kind of do with it as you will uh, it is no longer going to be part of Clock Tower so it's going to be just as official as when we do Antidote games, or Santa Meta games, or Mintculus games, or anything like that. So, that if you aren't on unofficial, you probably haven't seen it. Oh, oh boy. This fucking thing is breaking again. <laughs> Hang on. What is going on here? I can never figure out. I think yeah, we're back. Be... Yeah, I know. So, we are... And now we can see why it's never coming out. Exactly. It literally... I started mentioning it, and I got the, the the cease and desist from TPI immediately, clearly. Um, but no, so what happened was, uh, Lachlan, a.k.a. Zets, a.k.a. Zetsu, uh, one of the original playtesters, current playtester, all of that stuff, uh, came up with this character, and that character is, of course, the Barofog. The Barofog is a demon, and it says, each night, choose a player, they die. Players killed by a borrow fog register as alive during the day. And that's it. There's nothing else there. It's just literally, you kill people at night, but during the day it seems like they're alive. So it's never announced that they've been killed. It's never announced that they lose their vote token or anything like that. For all intents and purposes, the character lives. That's it. That's it. That's the entire character. So... It was an interesting idea, and it played into some very interesting scripts with different characters, but it was just so weak. It's just a weak character. I mean, the entire point of a demon killing people is to take away their votes and take away their, you know, their 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 ability to affect the game in the late game. Now, granted, they still don't get their nighttime abilities, you know? They don't get, uh, you know, if they're dead and they're supposed to wake up at night, well, the reason they don't wake up at night is because they're dead. They just don't know that they're dead. It's a very weird character. I mean, yeah. It also works weirdly with, like, what happens if the Barrow Fog is uh, drunk or poisoned, you know? Like, what happens with the, the vote amount that's needed? Uh, uh, you know, it, I, I imagine that the players wouldn't just suddenly be announced as dead and show up that way in the same way that, like, a, a drunk or poisoned once dead zombie doesn't get announced. So. Right. But it's still weird, you know? Um, 
So there's questions about like, what do you do if a barrel fog is drunk or poisoned? Uh, what do you do with roles that have to pick an alive player when everybody's registering as alive? Um, you know, there's just some, definitely some weirdness uh, with this character for sure. You can see why the people at uh, TPI maybe said, this is just too big of a headache. You know, this is just, yeah, it's just, this is way too, this is way too weird. Now, granted, the, the mechanics are definitely strange. So, like, take something like Riot, for example, by comparison. You know, like, Riot has, it just fundamentally changes the game. Everything about the game is completely different when you add, when it's a Riot game. Or if it's, you know, Atheist or Legion or something like that. But it still, like, there are ways to make it work within the mold that is Clock Tower. I think that weirdly, despite the fact that Riot has like an absolutely massive amount of jinxes, the majority of those come from the fact that they simply don't like register as a minion too. Right. Um, which means that I actually think that that weirdly Riot, despite also changing the mechanics in a very fundamentally different way, is still a more straightforward demon to run, at least, than mm -hmm. it is a Barrel Hawk. Right. And Barrow Fog is just, uh, it's one of those characters, man. You know, it's just, its it has a reputation. And it's so far, like, all right, let's 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 just call a spade a spade here. It, it This is a, if if you were to look at Alejo and Navian doing their character tier list, this is a D character, like just straight up. It, it would probably be pretty down there. Yeah, I can't imagine this would be a <laughs> very high on a tier list. It's just bad, but like, yeah. It's so weird that, like, if you were to go onto Unofficial now and you saw the announcement about the fact that this character is now basically in the public domain, people still like it. Like, they want to try it, and it's, like, become a uh -huh. meme all on its own. Oh, yeah, the petition to bring back the Barrel Fog, of course. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. It, but that being said, do we really want it back? Um, That's a good question. I guess we could run it tonight and find out. It's almost like that's exactly what we're going to do. Take the BRB screen off. So Is this homebrew? So, kind of. We went over the history, but the, the real quick TLDR um, is that it was an official playtest character uh, created by Zets, and it was recently decided to no longer be playtest and uh, allowed to be like let out into the wild. So it sort of went from official playtest back into like homebrew territory it's had uh, a unique ride it literally i would say a unique ride and i think it, i doubt that there will be another character that goes through this particular life cycle it, it's just so it seems unlikely yeah yeah uh but that said we're doing two scripts tonight our first one is going to be written by zets aka lachlan the person who actually created the borrow fog and has Nothing on it except a barrel fog. Right. Solo barrel fog. I mean, it kind of makes sense. The mechanics are strange and unique enough that it could make sense to have this as a solo demon for sure. Uh, TS Jocko, I can confirm that this is definitely not my favorite playtest character that is not yet released because I know of no playtest characters that have not been released. I, I know nothing. I have no juice. Uh, yes, the peasant... Uh, the peasant deserves this level of love, obviously, Sam. Of course. Of course. All right, so let's talk about, let's get a game together, because this is, this is going to be a night. Let's start with a barrel fog. Now. Wow. Let's, yeah, wow, I know, crazy. So let's talk about what else we can do. Now, Zets put this script together to kind of maximize the number of things I, I kind of want to say it as like handicapping the Barrow Fog by like giving them some pretty powerful minions to try to offset the fact that it's not very good. Um, but I don't really necessarily know if a widow is like the most helpful thing here. Like, I feel like Sarah Novus might be better because then at least players are actually die, you know, if they break Sarah Madness. Right. I mean, players do just normally, like any player who's executed does just die by execution. And they're still announced as having died by execution, even if they were technically already dead. Right. Uh, but this time they will appear dead. So Right. They will not only die, they will appear to die. 
Yeah. Which is a funny interaction when it's the idea of, like, you're dead, but, like, we execute you anyway, and all of a sudden, now we believe that you're dead because we executed you <laughs> after you were already uh, dead. Not only are you dead, but, like, you're dead and there's a chance that you know this because your ability stopped functioning. <laughs> right. Speaking of abilities not functioning. Yeah. There's a lot of that here. There is. And I would like to note that um, what Zetz has mentioned in his, uh, like, little write-up that he did that acts as sort of, you know, like an almanac entry. Um, Zetz has mentioned that if a player is drunk or poisoned, the storyteller could choose to not wake them to deceive them that, like, they have been killed by the Barrow Fog when they haven't. How do you so feel about that? So that's fun. How do you feel about that? <laughs> um, conflicted. If you do that to somebody who ends up not being poisoned or drunk the next day, then uh, obviously they'll know that they were drunk or poisoned the previous day and that you just chose to like rob them of their ability, uh, which can feel a little bit weird and maybe bad. So I would probably use it very carefully. I would be significantly more likely to use it on a player who's like more intentionally going to be permanently drunk. Like for example, a sweetheart or a puzzle master uh, the drunk, um, you know, widow poison can end up getting turned off if the widow is executed. Uh, regular poisoner can just move their ping. So I'd be slightly less inclined to do that than I would other forms of, you know, more permanent drunkenness or poisoning. But I do think that it's, it's a fun and interesting concept, but you have to not fall into the trap of being like, oh, this is fun. I'm going to do this at every opportunity because it amuses me, the storyteller, right? Exactly. You have to look at the game and be like, does it make sense to do this here? This is exactly the same conundrum that a lot of storytellers fall into when it comes to stuff like atheist games, when it's stuff like amnesiac abilities. As a storyteller, you can have fun, but it shouldn't be fun at the expense of your player's enjoyment of the game. Yeah, for sure. Uh, there's one thing I want to do, and that is have a drunk farmer. Okay. That's the big one. That's interesting, yeah, because a drunk farmer um, can end up getting killed in the night and just think that they're still alive in the final three, actually, because nobody exactly. played the farmer. Exactly. So That's I want to do that. There are exactly one, two, three, four, five, six roles on here, basically, that can guarantee that they've died. I guess Butler, too. They could guarantee that they actually right. die because they wake up every night. Uh, interestingly, I, we do have a cannibal um, as well, which uh, Zets has ruled that if the player who is executed is actually already dead, the cannibal does not gain their ability. Oh, I like that. Yeah, so there are some roles, like, like Butler cannibal has a jinx where the cannibal finds out that they have the butler ability yep. so if a butler is executed and dies and the cannibal doesn't get woken then it can prove that the butler was already dead i guess uh, my... uh or the or the cannibal was drunk or poison right of course there's that too um oh good more tools to make farmer torture to pull yeah well you know what molly it, it... It's just a form of bird violence, and we all know how much we love bird violence around here. We do love bird violence. All right, so I've got a setup here with a king and a choir boy. The ongoing info would be Oracle Exorcist. I have a saint as the other outsider. We'll have my drunk farmer, and then we just need one more thing. I guess maybe Night Watchman's fine, right? Um, Yeah, it's fine. I mean, they're very incentivized to use on night one, of course. Yeah, and that's kind of why I don't want to put it in, but... I mean, the only other thing I could think of is, like, a pixie. Pixie is obviously very weird with Barrow Fog as well. Uh, yeah, pixie's pretty weird, but mm, not necessarily in a bad way. Like, you're you're confirming, at the very least, you are confirming that a good player is, a likely a good player is in play, so. I think I'm better off with Night Watchman, though. Yeah, sure. All right. So, Micah got the Barrow Fog. Oh, Jesus, that's right, I forgot about this. Uh, the, this script has uh <laughs> the 700 appears alive tokens on it that sets put onto it oh yeah you do need to have like uh okay so if there's a a, a 20 no um travelers don't count so 15 player game which means that in order to get to a final three you need 12 tokens Ah, uh, there's, there's definitely fucking 12 <laughs> tokens here, so, yeah. 
Yeah, and and so the thing is that like on this older tool, one token would have sufficed because you can put down one token as many times as you want. Right. But uh, in the official app, the default like setting that apparently you can't really change is that um, the the token will only allow you to place down as many are actually coded into the ability. So if you only code in one token for appears alive. You can only ever have that on one player at a time. So uh, he needed to add 12 of them to the coding so that 12 of them would show up and be available for use. But of course, in this app, that just makes 12 of them show up. Isn't it great to peek into the past like this and just see how things used to be, you know? Um, eggs gave a very sad meow Aww, uh, when I eggs. finished my sentence. So I think she is, uh, she's very upset by there being 12 tokens, but like has to very resignedly accept that we're just going to have 12 tokens. Can you wake up a dead poison player and pretend they still have their ability? I'm going to say, yeah, you probably can. I mean, provided that they are not dead dead. If they're Barrow Fog dead, yes. Yeah, yeah. If they're Barrow Fog dead, then yeah. If they're like dead because they were executed, then no, because they just appear dead as well. But yeah, Barrow, just a Barrow Fog dead character uh, player, which is what I was guessing that was asking. Yeah. I would rule, yeah, if they're drunk or poisoned, you can wake them up and fool them that they do still have their ability, just like you can fool somebody that they don't. <laughs> Players don't know if they are dead. That is correct. Um, they aren't spending their, their dead vote when they vote when they appear alive in the same way that an appearing dead zombie does when they do. So basically all the dead players just get to like free vote for a while. Right. Which is wild. <laughs> uh, all right. So I have a starting trunk on lifey. Gibbo's going to do their thing. Shugenja gets a count or an anti-clockwise and that's it. I mean, there's no other starting info. So we'll uh, Gibbo will more than likely use his ability. But other than that, we're, we're good. Right. Uh, yeah, I think so. There's not except, a whole lot going on. Except that Lifey one. needs to take his seat. Shaking my damn head. Shaking my damn head. Love to catch a Saint in the, a Saint in the Shugenja info. It's true. It is pointing. <laughs> it's definitely uh, perhaps a, a little difficult for the good team. Yep. Uh, all right. Let's head back. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's time. Have mercy. Nah. Row. Uh. So if anything, like, uh, we were saying, like, you know, kind of like with Antidote, like, I say that, it, you know, like, I apologize to you guys as players, but really, the only people we're hurting is ourselves. Do Okay, <laughs> you can apologize. I don't apologize for anything with the Antidote. No, you don't apologize for anything with the Antidote. You had a good time with Antidote. Yeah, um, Barrow Fog can be Zetz's apology. I still don't apologize. Yeah, Zetz, you could you could figure it out. We'll we'll let you. Yeah, <laughs> we'll let you do it. Anyway, everybody go to sleep. Okay, bye. Good night. Good night. All right, who's going to pearl the cursed token? It's Micah. We already know it's Micah. So, sending characters. Ring. Okay, let's I'm go. I'm reminded of a homebrew outsider a friend uh, and I made possum. You register as alive while dead. Uh, that's very cute. It is. I love possums. Uh, and in honor of that, possum is going to be Wolfie's uh, mess word. Uh, nice. Let's do it. Also, Kev says, uh, oh, I hope DJ gets killed at night, then gets executed, and the game doesn't end. Hysterical. Hilarious. I now yeah. also really hope this I happens. also want to see that now, too. Hello, Yusuf. Hello, Gamilia. I am here to tell you that your fellow minion is Wolfie, and your Barrow Fog is Micah. Ooh. And while I'm here, who would you like to give the bad juice to? Mm. Let's make... Who would like a bit of madness? Let's make Sean mad that they are the... Sean mad that they are the Shugendra. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, man. Okay, sure. It's sure. always funny when a Saranovis just, like, randomly hits a player as their role. I mean, it's sad for the Saranovis, but, like, it's funny. Well, now they have to come out with their Shigenja info, though. 
Um, that's true. Sean should definitely be outing as both Shugenja and probably just like giving his info. Because if you're gonna out as Shugenja, then why would you hold your info, right? Right. Uh, <laughs> all know? right, let's go to Wolfie. Hello, Wolfie. Hello. I'm Last here to time I was Mez, uh, I failed to get a Mez word off, so I'm going to redeem myself this time. Okay. Well, we believe I, in you. I believe in you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that your fellow minion is Yusuf. Alrighty. And your Barrow Fog is Micah. Micah. I have a plan for this game, and it's to claim king. Okay. Well... <laughs> Maybe, maybe you'll actually enjoy your mez word then. Oh, your mez word is. It actually has nothing to do with kings, but okay. your mez word is possum. Possum, like the animal. Possum, like the animal, exactly. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, Micah. Hi. All right, so how are you feel? Give me a give me an update. Sideline reporting. How are you feeling? Uh, this will be something, all right. Yep, that is a true statement. Uh, <laughs> I will tell you that your uh, fellow minion, or you sorry, your minions are uh, Wolfie and Yusuf. Okay. Your no, bluffs... no, stick with it. Barrel Fog has been demoted to minion. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, your bluffs are Pixie, Flower Girl, and oh, and Butler. Nice. And Ekin is the king. Very fun. And that's all I got for you. I will talk okay, to you later. Thank you. See you around. You changed your icon. It freaked me out. Yeah, blame Rosanna. Yeah, yeah I know. Rosanna made cute little uh, penguin tokens. I saw. I saw, yeah. Uh, shouts I to Rosanna, by the penguin. way. Uh... I have two bits of info for you. One, okay. One, you get an anti-clockwise. Secondly, the Saranovas has chosen you to be mad about being the Shugenja. Sick. <laughs> you love it. All right. You'll, you'll love to see it. Thanks, friends. You're very welcome. Do I have anything else to do? Oh, Gibbo. I have to go to Gibbo. Yes, but first of all, I will say, if I were a Shigenja and my neighbors were Ryback and Demon, I would immediately think that my information is probably arbitrary. Uh, but what's really funny is, of course, that both Ryback and DJ are, are good. Yes, they are. That's really funny. Um, the opposite of anti-clockwise is pro-clockwise. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to leave that there. Hello, Gibbo. Hello. Would you be interested in using your ability? Uh, sure, why not? Let's uh, break out the trusty D12 to see yep. who I will choose. And that is a four. So one, two, three, four. Uh, my neighbor Ekin, please. Oh, because uh, with Micah as one, you would be telling yourself. It doesn't yeah. actually say that you can't. <laughs> uh, yes, That's I will. Doesn't mean you should. Yeah, I know. Uh, all right, I will let Ekin know. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Hello, Ekin. Hello, what's happening? Uh, I am letting you know that Gibbo is the night watchman. Yay! Thank you, Gibbo. Have a good one. Thank you. All right, that's it. Let's we let's. We have uh, the extremely rare occurrence where a night watchman did not pick an evil on night one. It doesn't seem to happen that often, does it? Yeah, it's like one in a thousand odds, and Gibbo got it. Good job for Gibbo. I think that the odds would be one in eleven, but uh, it's not. <laughs> if like I get one... if, the next time I pull the Night Watchman token, I'm going to pick myself. I mean, you know, it's a way to test for like drunk poison or vortox if there's one on the script. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to do it just because I can. Because the the rules say, Sorry, don't say yes, that I can't. Sorry, uh, yes. Uh... Yeah, the odds for picking a good player on night one are in a 12 player game are um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 11. My bad. I <laughs> temporarily forgot how math works. So okay. your odds of picking a good player are eight and 11, and your odds of picking an evil player in a 12 player game are three and 11. Um, but actually, your odds of picking a good player are one in a thousand. It, 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 what the actual odds are one in a thousand. If you are the drunk night watchman and you pick yourself, can you be told you received your ping uh, under the thinking clause? Why not? 
Maybe. Uh, potentially even just a regular Night Watchman who's just uh, lowercase d drunk or, or poisoned. You could potentially, under the ruling that you fool a player into thinking their own ability has worked, uh, you can't do it to another player because you can't fool somebody else that, you know, an ability yep. worked. But yourself. But yourself, it's a gray area. I'm going to go with, I, I. you know what I'll tell you, Snow? I'll tell you, I would. Take that as I will. I would probably as well, just because I think that it's the kind of like more interesting and less confirmy option that gives it more flexibility as a result. Um, and it's kind of funny. <laughs> It is very funny. We love funny. All right, let's bring him back and see how this goes. Hello, Ravenswood Bluff, a town famous for two things, the fog and wheelbarrows. But guess what? You guys are going to have to think quickly on your feet, and you're going to have to figure out who it is that ends up being wheelbarrowed into... That's about the best I can do on short notice. Anyway, come back at 39 past. <laughs> it's a good try. Thanks. I appreciate it. It's, it's not going to hell in a handbasket. It's going to hell in a wheelbarrow. Exactly. Uh, I have an announcement. Uh, hear ye, hear ye, I am your queen. Well, hear ye, hear ye, I am your king. Oh, dear uh, God. Oh, my God, oh, wedding. Both of my neighbors? Both of king my neighbors? Queen. Amazing. There's nothing wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an off-script <laughs> twin pair, clearly. Yep. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about being a marionette at all, Mia. No, not, not a, not a uh, word to worry about. Gibo, let's talk. Hello. Ribbit. <laughs> uh, so I'm the marionette. Um, what do you want to do? Ribbit. Frog. Damsel and the frog. Are you, you're not claiming damsel again, day one, are you? Ribbit. Uh, you know, Take I got... The arrow frog. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are you? What are you really? I'm a shoe genja. A shoe genja. Okay. I'm glad. You know, I'm I'm glad I get to experience the the bits fresh. Um, you're the shoe genja. Well, hopefully you learned. Uh... With an anti-clockwise pointing towards me. All right. Yes. How tech. Obvi <laughs> I know, but obviously I believe your claim. So I am gonna think that DJ or Mia is the baden. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, it could just be pointing towards, obviously, the evil twin in our twin pair, Ekin. That is true. Then that would be a bad day for Ekin, Gibbo, and Hallow. Exactly. Or potentially or Micah and Lifey, those, that other four. But yes. Or it's just yeah. DJ. Or it's just DJ. Or, or one of DJ and Mia, yeah. Yeah. DJ evil on this server? Shock and no chagrin. I know. It never happens. Okay, feel free to spread my news across the kingdom. I already. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Wolfie. It happens every time. It would not be a horrible execution by any means. Um, I mean, yeah, if you're being free for board, also that yeah. if you are, then, well, your accomplice is very obvious. Um, I am the same. Do with that as you will. Okay. okay. Oh, that's quite yeah, good. So I'll be happy to throw myself out there if we hear any news of a cannibal. Yeah. Okay. And I'm 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 picking up what you're putting down. So you <laughs> are entering this uh, double claim. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Um, I will tell you that I'm the pixie, and I'm giving up because I oh. won't. I will not be able to tell if I get my ability, <laughs> and I don't think the other person's <laughs> going to know when they died, so here we are. That's fair. <laughs> uh, I mean, you don't have to tell me, because obviously I'm in a double claim, but uh, do you mind me asking what you saw? One of them. Yeah, I'm happy to kill either. We will see. I'll try and catch both of them at some point today. Sounds good. That is on script, so... All it right, is on script, up. yeah. All right, well, thank you. We'll see, see you then. around. Hello. Uh, how you do? I'm doing well today myself. What, uh, what do you want to claims? Uh, whatever you want. You want to claim? Choose? Um, I'll tell you I'm an outsider. Ooh, outsider. Okay. Okay. You are an outsider. Okay, I'll tell you that I am an each night asterisk troll, so flower girl oracle. Um, so I have info saying that you're probably good so i'm down to just tell you what i am and see if i'll take whatever you are willing to give in return go ahead i'm the cannibal 
You're the um, guy. How do you know if I'm good or not? I have info that backs you up from someone else in a hard claim. I'm confused. How, I'm confused. How? Fine, I'm the Oracle, but why? I'm confused, <laughs> why? Why I'm good? Why you're so sure? Like who's already told you? Um. Well, it's either a knight or a shugenja pointing away from you. How are um, you? Oh, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What do you want to do? Well, I am down for hard climbing, but I will take back whatever you want to give me. Uh, I'll hard climb. Why not? Okay. I am the shugenja with an anti-clockwise. Ooh, shugenja anti-clockwise. Ooh, so, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you that I am... I am the flower girl. You're, you're what? I am the flower girl. Flower girl. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good to have a nice information yeah. roll. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Yep. Thank you. I will give you Oracle or Choir Boy. Okay. Good luck figuring out who's your king. <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about it. Yeah. Tina is a very fun idea for here, though. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I don't even really need to figure it out. They kill the kings. They kill the kings. If, yeah. the, if the demon kills one, I'll, I'll get woken up, I assume. So sounds good to me. Yeah, fair. All right, thank you. Thank you. Real quick, I have a question. Um, King is a marionette. Um, is a choir boy is there still able to be a choir boy yeah so the choir boy it's just like um it's just like huntsman damsel in that if the marionette they're gonna go into the bag together and then if it goes around and it finds out that the king is actually the marionette then nothing that can be done about that yeah and killing the the marionette would not give the choir boy anything obviously correct all right cool thank you no problem Okay, Sean's pointing at me, so... okay. So Sean guessed stuck... correctly. Sean is Sarah. Yeah. Okay, uh, Mia's allegedly the pixie. No, because pixie's a bluff, lol. Okay. Uh, so I can potentially back into pixie later, then. No, you, Yusuf and I are doing a pixie flower girl thing. We've got a plan. The unclaimed bluff okay. is butler, uh, or you can just stick to king. Nah, I'm just gonna stick to, get, to, to king. We'll see this out. Why not? Have fun with that. <laughs> All right. Julio, uh, so you both are claiming... Uh, We're both claiming flower, flower, girl. You're both claiming flower. All right, I'll just put that down for you guys. Mm -hmm. All right, thank see you ya. very much. I don't no. see why it's any different than... That's... Nah, well. I was talking to chat, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why it's any different than Huntsman DMs. Hi, chat. Hi, chat. Um, okay, yeah. cool. I... Yeah, you are the cannibal. Can we spun? What does the cannibal... Yeah. I have to eat some of this. Ooh. Yeah, my first time too. <laughs> yeah, it has very tasty, tasty, tasty meals. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll see you around. Yep, thank you. Ooh, do I get to summon the wheelbarrow? <gasps> oh no. I'm gonna wait for it to turn to it's, 39. It's very just kind excited. of weird that, like, it's a because I feel like that's not the idea of like what the where the name comes from, but maybe I'm just wrong. No, 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 it, it's, it's definitely not anything to do with that, but I just like the idea of a wheelbarrow. Uh, nominations will be open in about 60 seconds. Has anybody heard of a widow? Right no. I have not heard of a widow. Nope. No widow. Nope. Nope. No widows around here. Well, that would, that's good, because that would be quite a scarrow fog. <laughs> oh my god. How many of these puns are we gonna get? <laughs> Uh, has uh, anyone heard of a mes Four hours worth. Yeah. No one has come up to me to mes turn me. I'm disappointed. Oh, no, it's so me sad. <laughs> Sorry, give the word to Mia. They didn't say it though. So uh, it's up and grabs. Cucumber. Oh, what, uh, what refrigerator. Pumpernickel. No, the, the word was wheelbarrow. That was oh, not the word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Mrs. would Bob. probably be wheelbarrow based. That means the SPs have been mes turned. Nominations are Oh Fog. What? Um, Hello nominates Wifey. <laughs> Hello nominates Wifey, why? Um, I have some information that suggests that Lifey pulled the recluse token despite it being off script. <laughs> Lifey? That information also sounds like it came from off script. <laughs> oh no, the information is from off script. Uh, uh, if it's what I think it is, that's a double claim. 
apparently because of the uh, word choice that I'm using, uh, chat has let me know that Snow has actually nominated me from chat. Good job, Snow. That is an extremely powerful ability, Snow. Uh, we would need six for this to pass. Can we all vote yes on this story time, please? Well, this is on Lifey, so... Yeah. Four is not enough. Oh yeah, hold on. Let me nominate the storyteller so we can vote on them. That is an illegal action. Um, Darn. Sean would like to but nominate I, DJ. I, Sean would like to nominate DJ. Why? He knows what he did. DJ, what did you do? I have absolutely no idea what I did. And please, just because I'm not vo just because I'm not going to vote today does not mean you have to execute me for it. We would need six for this to pass. I'd rather not do this. That seemed like so probably please, not please no. Please no. Son of a... I don't think that was a good idea. Six no, is enough. Not. DJ is on the block. DJ nominates Gibbo. Why? Uh, we should put this anywhere but me, because I am the saint. Let's not do this day one. Yeah. Uh, Gibbo? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm fine with this uh, cannibal kindness project. We need six to tie, seven to pass. I'm just saying, please don't do this. Or at least don't execute me. Why didn't you claim Saint before I voted on you, DJ? Because I didn't feel the absolute need to, because I wasn't sure if I was going to get six. Chat loves the cannibal kindness project, and apparently so does Town. Because seven is enough, DJ is off the block, and Gibbo is on the block. Gibbo is good, please. Can we just not kill Gibbo? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll nominate my double clay, Mechan. Why? Uh, because, uh, I, I've heard of a pixie elsewhere, which is an interesting claim on day one. Uh, but, uh, and Ekin, uh, I think it was Ekin said, uh, they don't want Gibbo dead, so you can take their place if you want. Ekin? I will make a tie. I will not take Gibbo's place on a double claim. Um, I am the one true king. We would need seven no. to ties, eight to pass. It seems sort of premature to kill either of these. <laughs> <laughs> Two is yeah. not enough. Say final call. I'll nominate Wolfie. Ekin nominates Wolfie. Why? I thought Wolfie was Pixie, but I don't think it's the case anymore. I think Wolfie is just evil, who decided to double claim the king. Wolfie? Uh, no, I'm not evil. Uh, I I will vote to tie uh, it off of Gibbo if we, if Town thinks so, but I will not vote to put myself on the block. We would need seven to tie, six to pass. Five is less than seven. Gonna end the day in five. Can I nominate Hollow? Wifey nominates Hollow. Why? Wait, that's an Uno reverse card. Why? Yo. Uh, no, you, and also I think the info you're talking about <laughs> might point at yourself as well. Hollow. Um, no, it doesn't, because it's my info. Um, but you can't play a reverse card of a different color on top of a red six. Like, I played the reverse card, like, six turns ago. Come on. Yep, all of that adds up. Speaking of things that add up, we would need to add up to seven votes in order to put this on a tie or eight to pass. Or no, yeah, six, to, six to tie. Six to tie, seven to pass. No, seven to tie. I don't know any. Yeah. Seven to seven tie. Seven to tie, eight to eight pass. To pass. I said, also, I was right the first time. New Uno mechanic where you get to dig through the deck and pick out uh, the discarded card from earlier to put on the top so that you can play the reverse. Mia, you would really give up not voting all day just Five, to put a hand up on me, wouldn't you? Four, I would. Three, uh, can I nominate Yusuf? You sure can. Why? Uh, not that many options. And. I do think Gibbo is good. We could just tie, also. 
Yusuf? Uh, we could try. Uh, I won't put because the flower girl will get that I didn't put because I'm, I don't know who else didn't put because uh, I, a lot of noms, I missed some. And uh, I didn't vote for the flower girl. Kev, we don't talk about Mantis Falls. Or you're not allowed to talk about Mantis Falls. We would need... Uh, Kev is definitely allowed to talk about Mantis Falls. Just bamboozled me so hard. We would need uh, seven to tie, eight to pass. Also, I'm Mike... also allowed to talk about Mantis Falls. <laughs> Mantis we'll Falls how... is a really fun game. We'll see how Molly feels about that. Uh, Molly feels like you should give the goose a gun. Actually, he feels like he should give the goose a gun and you should give the goose a bullet. Uh, that worked out very well. Five, four, three, two, one. Gibbo, how would you prefer to be executed? Decapitated by a giant Uno reverse card. Ooh. Uh, we dig through the deck like this Uno demonic tutor that <laughs> Tenavian is talking about, and we find the biggest Uno reverse card possible and fling it your way, you know, kind of, uh, oh god, what was that guy's name? Ricky J. R.I.P. Ricky J. We do it Ricky J. style, and it just goes, whoosh, and, uh, you are executed and die. And congratulations! Go to sleep. Okay. All right, so, now the fun begins. Let's go to Yusuf. Please. Hello. Please choose Blair. Uh, so the sensible thing thing is to make Sean mad, uh, but because I am not a uh, uh, boring Sir Novice, I'll make Sean mad that they are the investigator. The investigator. Mm -hmm. Sean mad as the investigator. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. So last week it was the thumbing, and this week it's the braining. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> you're getting you're getting brain. I mean, don't complain. You're getting brain. But you are getting brain. In the you're getting brain in the form of being told that you are to be mad about being the investigator. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. Hello, Mia. Hello, hello. Please choose a player. Um, I would like to choose DJ. <laughs> you choose DJ. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, the time has come. <sighs> okay, so I know Ekans the king. Pretty sure Hallow's the Shugenja. Uh, gonna try and mez turn them tomorrow because they did ask politely, and that will hopefully uh, get them to back off their very damaging info. Um, Sean was mad at Shugenja today. Don't know what he actually is. Autumn claimed farmer to me. Could be lying, but could be legit. I'm gonna pick Ryback. You're gonna pick Ryback. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm hmm. Hysterical. Love it. You'll love to see it. So Ryback's gonna know they're dead. Uh, yep, because he's not gonna wake at all. Yep. Um, Sean being mad as investigator is really interesting, because, like, he might just choose to put an investigator ping on, say, like, DJ and Wolfie, right? Right. Or if thinking that this, you know, king double claim is, I don't know, it doesn't feel very demony. No. Doesn't feel very so, demony. So, you know... Yeah. Yeah, you could put an investigator ping there. Hey, want to know something funny? We have we have nothing what? else to do. <laughs> uh, no, we have to go to Autumn, our cannibal night watchman. Oh, <gasps> you're right. We do. I forgot about that. Let's go to Autumn. Hello, Autumn. Hello. Would you like to use your ability? Yes, I would. Please choose a player. Okay, so yeah, Gibbo's definitely the Night Watchman. I could gamble and pick somebody and be nice and confirmed, but also maybe out myself to an evil. Or I could just be, I could pick the player that I know for sure has to be good. That's the safe option. Is that the fun and cool option, though? It's fun and cool for me. I pick Gibbo. Okay, thank you very much. And time to find out that I just wasted a Huntsman shot. <laughs> How does a cannibal work if the executed player was already dead? Yes, we talked about that. Zetsa said that they don't get the ability. Uh, that can't have been a wasted can uh, Huntsman shot, because Huntsman has to pick an alive player, and Gibbo is uh, 
like fully dead dead so. oh, for real dead dead yes uh, but you know maybe autumn one of autumn or gibbo can figure it out and of uh, course gibbo yeah. will just be like you know I'm i got to use the night watchman by the way that's really funny to, to tow the night watchman the night watchman yeah um hey gibbo uh you know we know that you have the night watchman token but autumn is the night watchman actually yeah Ooh, that has fun atheist potential. Let me let me file that away. <laughs> sure. Let's go tell Gibbo before we forget. Hello, Gibbo. Hello. I'm here to tell you that you are aware of the fact that Autumn is the Night Watchman. Okay. Thank you very much. Sometimes you just make the smart play. And yeah, they would learn Night Watchman. They would not learn Cannibal. Yeah, um, abilities that say, like, learn you or whatever, like uh, Night Watchman, Damsel, King, those kinds of things. Um, it's always self-referential to the ability itself and not necessarily uh, referring to the token that the player is holding. Right. All right, let's bring them back. Hello, town. Beautiful day. After, after last night... It's good that you've all got together in town square fog to find out <laughs> that, in fact, oh God. your prayer fogs have been answered and no one died last night. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, no. Oh, my God. No. This is going to get We're going to have like five, six days of this? Mm. Does anyone yeah. have yeah. to know if they died? I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. I'm dead. Oh. oh. Oh, okay. Who was that? Ryback? Ryback. I'm dead. Ryback. Can't oh. wait to place one of the 16 appears alive tokens. You have so many options. I know. <laughs> anyway. I, oh, I have to choose five. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's take a talk. Gibbo, um, you want to talk? Me, yeah, Hello, let's talk? Show. Oh. Oh, like a chat. Can we talk? Yep, Sorry, did you? someone say, uh, DJ, you want to chat? Sure, Mia. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm assuming you're the Shugenja, right? Or you're I claiming? I do, in fact, have a counterclockwise. Okay. Um, so there's, I'm the. There's a chance it's not you. So you're the I'm... Witch. So I think it's kind of strange that you started pushing on me without talking to me first. Um, oh, I, do, I I I started pushing on you because it was funny to say you pulled the recluse token. Uh, DJ and <laughs> me uh, as the. Um... Uh, Sarah Novus. Ah, cool, cool, cool. Okay, okay. Out of curiosity, I, I'm just asking this to everybody because I don't know. There's not much I can really talk to game wise. Uh, talk about game wise because I'm not going to get information for a while. Uh, what's your favorite animal? Uh, oh, penguin. Oh yeah, that would make sense based on your uh, uh, token, your icon. Uh, obviously, I like yeah. wolves. Uh, but possums yes. are a uh, but possums are a close second. Possums are very cool. Um, they are. I was to go with a second. Um, I don't know. Probably a some sort of big cat. I don't know. All right. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If there's no Sarlacc, one of the kings is likely evil. Sean's info seems like totally plausible. It um, does. And it, it sucks that I'm here first. Let's read it. It's passing me first. Which I'll keep that one in mind. Oh, Hallow, don't do this to me. I'll keep it in mind. Fine. Suit yourself. <sighs> See ya. Good. So it's very useful. Wow, um, awesome. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm gonna solve the game. All right, cool. <laughs> um, well, go good luck with that astounding <laughs> uh, information right there. It it's Yeah. yeah. I'll, That's I'll, what's I'll, going on. Yeah, I'll say... Now that I've talked to you, I'll say that I've heard from a cannibal. But I'm yeah. Say, I won't say who, but... Yeah, it'll be super funny if someone just randomly turns into the farmer. Okay. Hopefully not Autumn, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, cheers All for right. Thank Yeah, I, I got it. Demeta is still be a real quick rerack, I think. Hey, Demeta, just checking that possum plural counts, right? Uh, I I heard I heard possums, and I'm perfectly fine accepting that. Okay, good. Okay, well, <laughs> we're probably screwed. Oh dear. Uh, well, I coordinated really well with one of my minions. Uh, mm, what were you? Uh, Night Watchman. Oh, that's sad. Uh, yeah. And I so haven't heard cool. of any other outsiders so far. Yeah, so. I mean, the there's butler a floating might, drunk somewhere. Yeah, um, the butler might want to be louder, but then, like, the damsel's going to stay quiet. The drunk obviously doesn't know they're the drunk, so 
it happens. Right. Anyway. But I mean, if you, but yeah, you being the same, it makes sense that you'd be in my investigator ping. So yeah. All right. Good to know. Thanks. Yep. Bye. Ping from the cannibal. Okay, that that makes sense. Okay, I'll tell you that I am the flower girl who got a yes unsurprisingly. All right. <laughs> yeah, not not that useful of information, but mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. In my home. <laughs> exactly. That's with me. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, well, I assume you're sticking with King. Yep. All right. I'll. I will just give you what I've been giving everyone else. I've been pretty open so far. I'm the farmer. Ooh, farmer. Love the farmer. Yeah, I don't really have any issues just being more out because, like, I won't know when I die. Yeah, and that, that's true. Hope Maybe I mean, maybe evil can just doubt me or something. Yeah. Hopefully I don't get turned into a farmer before I get my info. Actually, do I get my info based on total dead or, like, executed dead? Like... Hey, Tomato. Oh, God. What's the question? Uh, does King, does, uh, for purposes of King information, does Borrow Fog Killed Appears Alive players register as dead for the King or alive? Uh, King gets their info at night and Borrow Fog only makes dead players appear alive during the day. Oh, you're right. Okay, good to know. Thank you. No that problem. is good to know. Phew. One of Sean or Wolfie, in my opinion, is a good kill. Uh, okay. I have nothing on Lifey or Micah. Do you have anything on them? Um, I haven't spoken to Micah yet. I'm probably going to get killed, but fair enough. Okay, so I understand. So that's why you gave a Shugenja counterclockwise, because you have both of your pings yep, on, exactly. on the side. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Oh, unsurprisingly, yes. Uh, if I got a no, uh, and uh, I was the demon for some reason, uh, I would be very surprised. <laughs> yep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Do I say the word or do I keep messing with Micah? Because it's really funny to mess with Micah. That is that is up to you. It is absolutely up to me. Heard that you were the one picked by Gibbo, so I figure I may as well tell you. Um, that's honestly why I voted Gibbo. I probably assumed Gibbo was that watchman, but I'm greedy and I wanted to confirm myself. <laughs> yeah, I got Gibbo's ping. Um, yeah. It's okay. Um, so, I would. I think I would like to kill one of Sean, Wolfie, or um, Michael, Lifey. I guess. Um, I trust Lifey. At the very, I told Lifey I was the cannibal on day one, uh, and we were planning to roll swap because of that. So I trust Lifey a little bit more right now. I'd be fine. I think I had. I, I was saying I had information pointing to Lifey, Lifey pulling the off-script recluse. <laughs> Hmm. That was mostly a bit. Okay. So, I think Lifey, big... Lifey is less likely to be evil than Micah, probably. So, Crazy World, use of Micah Mia. And uh, there's a Pixie K among these two at fuckers. Uh, maybe. Who knows? My own wheelbarrow didn't bring me back to town. Such, wow. That such... broke its wheel. It, well, you're it... driving it. You're not the one riding it. It clearly needs a Reparo fog. Nominations are Whoa. open. <laughs> <laughs> I nominate Demida. That is not a legal action. I don't care. I'm breaking the law. <laughs> I do not support this breaking of the law. These jokes are hilarious, and I would like them to keep coming. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sorry, did I just hear that a goose is not supporting breaking the law? That seems. That seems... Um, you know what? You caught me. I support breaking the law, but also uh, I will not be voting on Demeta's execution because these jokes are hilarious and I would like them to keep coming. Thank you for keeping me accountable. You're very welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone heard of a butler? I have not. I've only heard of one outsider. Go the, find a screenshot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Came up the goose with a wheelbarrow. So, what Second. do we think the odds are that there's an evil townsfolk right now? Pretty decent. No claim of widow pang, just some yeah. like Baron. Yeah. There's, mm-hmm. there's lots of double claims going around, so there could be a Serenovus, but I would say it's probably two of three of Serenovus, Mez, Marionette. Yeah. Or a damsel. Yeah. One of those things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like we we it's likely we have a drunk or a damsel, right? Likely, yeah. Because uh, 
I'm lady we, drunk. We don't have a we, yeah, we don't have a uh, claim of uh, butler yet, so yeah. it's quite good. Yeah, it's quite good. Hello, thank you. Uh, You're welcome. Final call for nominations. Uh, Nia uh, nominates Sean. Why? A uh, few reasons. One, I think this would be good cannibal food if there is one, and second, um, I don't want to believe sean's info i wish it to not be true so i'd like to kill him <laughs> sean i mean i would probably not want to believe my info either seeing as which that it's about you um but yeah uh i would be a good member of the cannibal kindness project we would need six for this to pass was anyone seven men yesterday that isn't today that can out it I've Ever heard of someone that. who claimed Sarah Madness. Hmm. Yeah, same. Just for the sake of it, I am still the king, by the way. Yeah, I wasn't Sarah Mad yesterday. Nor am I today. Six is enough. Sean's on the block. Ten seconds. Sean would like to nominate Mia. Ooh, no reverse card. Tell me about it. No, you. Mia. Uh, this would be really bad, actually. We would need I mean, six to, from what you six to tie, seven to pass. I mean, from what you claim to me, I don't want to let this also tie. be good cannibal food, right? But bad for whom, Mia? Uh, I will answer that question as soon as slightly more of the hands have passed for me in particular. I mean, I think that much was clear. <laughs> well, I'm glad that we were able to clear the arrow fog. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, How many of these great. do you have? That was a good one. Very good. Five. How many do you have four, of those in preparation? Three. Two. Prepare One. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, I just added another one. Thanks for that. Uh, Sean, what is your preferred method of execution? Uh, I would like to be executed by a scarecrow fog, please. Ah, the classic oh scarecrow fog. <laughs> Uh, we get, it's just a Scarecrow in Fog. That's all it is. Um, it's also the band Ministry playing the song Scarecrow, but it, uh, but they've changed the lyrics to be Scarecrow of Fog. Scarecrow and there of is Fog. a Fog Machine on stage. Yeah, we're, we're big fans of Fog here at Ravens with Bluff. Uh, Sean is executed and dies, and congratulations! You guys get to go to sleep. The Vortex went. All right. <laughs> There's this band from the early 2000s named The Missing, and it's uh, like I've heard of The Missing. Yeah, it's all lowercase, and there is a colon at the end. Um, and they have an absolutely fabulous cover of Scarecrow by Ministry that I adore. Like, it's, I like it better than Ministry's Scarecrow. Interesting. It's always interesting when a cover is better than the original. Um, yeah, I mean, like it, it musically, it follows it fairly similarly, but uh, the singer of uh, the missing has just a fabulous voice. Hmm. Well, speaking of fabulous voices, let's go to Yusuf. That was about as good a transition as I was going to come up with at that point. <laughs> Hello, Yusuf. Hello. So, Please uh, choose a player and a character. Okay, so. Player and the character. Sorry, I'm also thinking about why the hell am I blocking Blargo? But uh, I would like the the smart thing is to make Sean the mad as the damsel because then they out damsel like, and then the saint has some suspicion. Uh, but do I want that or do I want to move the Cernovus a bit? Mm. I think Sean mad the damsel today. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hey, buddy. I see somebody's scared about my spicy truths. I'll take my nightly braining, please. Uh, you are getting a nightly braining, and that nightly braining is in regards to the fact that the Sarah Novus has chosen you to be mad about being the damsel. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that's spicy. And, in addition to that, you are evil. What? You are evil. Sick. Okay. <laughs> uh, you seem like you didn't know. Fine. Scotty oh, doesn't know. know. 
Scotty doesn't know. But yes, you are indeed evil. Yeah, you, you, your, your Tory gate is now covered in red. Awesome. All Thank right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please choose a player. Uh, I'd like to pick um, Autumn, please. Autumn it is. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please choose a player. Um, well, since none of us took the butler bluff, uh, DJ is confirmed by outsider count. And assuming DJ is not in some kind of like role swap with Mia, which seems maybe possible from the way that Mia was freaking out about being on the block. I think DJ's panic was genuine, though. Um, and ne Town's never going to execute DJ, and DJ shouldn't know that he's dead, which will back my whole pixie flower girl thing. So I am targeting DJ, please. You're going to pick DJ? Yep. Thank you very much. And this is why there are 12 acts, uh, there are twi 12 appears alive tokens. Oh man, we do have a dead DJ, which means the the potential world of DJ uh, appearing alive but gets executed and the game continues is on, technically. It sure is. Most people will probably just go, oh, confirmed by outsider count and not touch it. Right. But it's funnier to live in the world where it happens. Right. Uh, last thing we have to do is go to Autumn and tell Autumn that uh, they have a Shugenja clockwise. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can definitely do that. It's possible that Sean might decide to just continue to stick with Damsel after this. Uh, it's hard to say since Sean is turning evil. Um, oh, they're so... right. That's right. Sean was evil at the... Wait, was Sean evil at the time? It doesn't matter. The cannibal is now currently poisoned because the player is currently poisoned. So wait, if Sean is going to act mad as the damsel, then maybe we just don't wake up Autumn. Um, yeah, so like, I think that there is, uh, there's pros and cons for either choice. If Sean pivots to damsel and then decides, I mean, he's gonna have to pivot to damsel with madness, but uh, I technically doesn't have to have to, but he's probably going to. So he may stick there permanently, but we don't know. Um, however, if we do give Shugenja information, it could look like we weren't sure what this evil player was going to do, right? Like Sean's just been evil the whole time. We thought Sean was bluffing Shugenja. We didn't know he was going to be pivoting to Damsel. Um, and it could just look like we gave the wrong thing to Autumn as a result. And I think that both of these have pros and cons. So, mm, shrug. <laughs> That's a good point, actually, for math. What if we tell Autumn that Sean was the butler? Um, we could, but that would sort of kind of, like, back Sean definitely into the bluff. Because uh, it's a jinx. Uh, it would put a lot of pressure on him. He technically doesn't have to, because a drunk or poisoned cannibal, or a self-poisoned cannibal there, you can arguably show them the jinx, uh, even if they don't actually have it. I personally would rule it that way. Ed believes that you probably can, then he doesn't have anything to back that up. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'd probably prefer to stick with either Shugenja or Just Danzel, but I think either one is fine. I think we're going to go with Don't Wake. Okay, sure. And I mean, it could also then look like Autumn is dead. Uh, there's not a whole lot here that when executed would cause Autumn to wake anymore. That's what I'm thinking, is that um, basically Autumn can't know if they got, if they're alive or dead. Yeah, like there is a couple of things, but not all of them. No, I think you're right, Math. It's a solid, it's a solid idea, but I'm going to go with this. Oh, yeah. I, I think that both options are absolutely solid. Uh, just sort of, they're going to have very different effects on the game, but they're both va very valid options. Right. Also, hi, Olejo. You should be asleep. What are you doing? Oh, uh, that's true. We don't necessarily want my, uh, Autumn to think uh, that it's dead because Micah is going to be claiming to have died. Micah is going to be claiming to have died? Yeah, oh, Micah right. made Night a, a plan with Yusuf, right? Yes. Okay. Maybe we do show that. That's a good point. I forgot about that. What if we do uh, Autumn to... We just give Autumn Shugenja anti-clockwise. Um, yeah. Okay. Still alive. Live? Oh my goodness gracious. I am going to tell you a word. Oh, my Mesworth, of course. Anti-clockwise. Uh-huh. Okay. That, that's it. That's all I have for you.
I'll be sure to uh, find somebody and get them to say the word, and then I'll have uh, an evil person with me. That's how it works, right? Yeah, that's I, how it works. I, I'm, I'm not sure if we're doing a bit or not. It's definitely how it works, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm disappointed you didn't put a Baron in the Barrow Fog game, because then you could say it's a Baron, ba Baron, fo ba okay, I'm... <laughs> I get where you're going, and I appreciate it. I wanted like the minions to both like fit with the pun, but it also doesn't work as easily as you'd want it to. <laughs> you know, you 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 tried. It was the important parts that you tried. Uh huh. Okay, bye. Bye bye. All right, let's uh, let's bring him back. Okie dokie. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Beautiful day. Uh, you might think. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's laughing already. Let's go. Someone died. No, we're 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 getting to the end of the things that I have in my head. So just bear with me for how bad this one is. Um. Uh, it would appear that perhaps this town has a lot of connections to ancient Egypt because we think that there might be a pharaoh fog in play. <laughs> 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 because nobody died. Why? Um, uh, Demon, if you want to add oh yourself, go with this click and end this suffering. <laughs> Does anyone know if they died? Yeah, Ryback's right claiming that they know they died. Well, that, I mean, that was, Should I mean, I, last night. Was, like, oh. I don't oh, no. know until way late. I don't really have a way to tell. So. Thanks, Alejo. Life. Hey, did you want to, <laughs> you know. Mia, want to talk? The way Mia kind of said, wanted to really survive the day yesterday. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if Mia's the Maz or Micah's the Maz, but yep, it's one of them. Uh, what are you? The actual Sujit Shug? Um, I am not a Shugendra. Okay, it could be real. Yeah, I sort of, I sort of suspected you were not gonna stick with Pixie. Yeah, you know that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so you know you died. Yep. Interesting. Um, I claimed to you, right? Yep, you claimed Flower Girl. Yeah, I got a very helpful yes night night two, and then I didn't wake up last night when I would have actually gotten real info. You can continue Sarah locking uh, Sean because uh, he can break if uh, Micah gets on the block. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's already dead. He's already dead. So uh, here, th herein lies the problem of uh, Micah tried to give Hallow the word. Uh, and they didn't take it, but I also mez turned Sean, so uh, Hallow might nominate Micah. This uh, cannibal. But, yeah, nah, hopefully. it's fine. Alright. But... Alright. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you that I'm the pixie flower girl. But okay, you're, you're, you're gonna claim pixie. Hey! Who said your word yesterday? What? Who said your word yesterday? Which one of you is it? <laughs> Oh, no, neither of us are... Well, okay, I guess I don't know if Micah's not evil, but... <laughs> I'm not evil, certainly. I died last night. Yeah, that's why, um, we've been, that's why we've been chatting. How do you know you died last night? Because I'm the flower girl. And I got a very unhelpful yes, and then I didn't get info on a night where I actually would have gotten info. Yep. Wait, are you evil? No. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> um... Micah gave me a mess word yesterday, and I came here to make fun of both of you because I think you're both evil. Oh, okay, sure, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Chat can, can laugh at me, but <laughs> look, if if we were both evil and one of us was a mess, you would be evil with us, probably. Well, well, see, I was given the word yesterday, and I had the option to say it while debate it was there. I just didn't. Oh, you didn't say it. Okay, yeah. interesting. Um, oh, can we continue this chat without you now that I know that? Yeah, sure, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> have fun, have fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, You're not the mess, right? No, I'm not the mess. They're evil as hell, right? Or, uh... Probably, yeah. <laughs> um, you are the night watchman, I have heard? Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, I am the choir boy. Don't spread that around. Okay. Um... Anything else you have heard that's interesting that you are willing to share? Uh, I've had a, just a few that have gone round. Uh, I will say that I have heard from a, I heard from a cannibal on night two. Gotcha. Okay. 
that is good to know. Great. Thank you. Oh. Whoa! Hold oh, no. on. Okay. 25 to, gift subs! This. So, okay. From an anonymous gifter. Cool. Alright. Cool. Mm -hmm. I love oh, it. these bells are going to be going off for a while. So, do you get yes or no? Did you get yes or no? I get. I mean, it. I presume. Shocked the fucking no one. Um, mm -hmm. to be honest, I think we need to kill Mike and Wolfie. Uh, the, the, yeah. Mike, yeah. Mike needs to die. Wolfie needs to die. Mia probably can die. Probably can die. Not now, but later. But we need because what? We're probably on eight. Because doing even kills every night. Yeah, mm -hmm. we need to hurry. We need to simply hurry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's go. Let's... Announcement? Oh, yeah, I'm just the dead damsel. Oh, okay. Wow. I... What was, it? What was the mouse word? I'm I... curious. Oh, wait, yeah, obviously, no. Wait, that's a well, stupid I mean, question. I'm not going to share that. Yeah, I obviously. Want to turn evil, because I think I have a chance of winning this game is good, and I would like to if I can. That's true. That Micah could also idiot. have been messing with me because we love messing with each other. But... That's fair. I don't know why I asked. That was a stupid question. Yeah. Usually gifted subs have. I am a decidedly not going to say. Thing. Yeah, especially that tomatoes here. So. <laughs> yep. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Oh. Hello. Oh, Welcome back to town. Much to your despair, fog, you must kill oh, one of God. your fellow Jeez. townsfolk. Are you just at every second thinking of more puns? I'm trying. Make? I'm working really hard. I really um, respect it, honestly. Chat, the tenacity chat, please is keep, cheese, Please keep supplying Jameda with these. No, Chad's not supplying it. In fact, if anything, I'm the most aware of fog of these words. Uh, well, Chad well, has well, supplied uh, two uh, that you can take. Uh, one of them was from me. Yeah, I'm not taking that one, though. Wow, that's I'm so saving. I'm believe. saving it. Oh my god, I'm saving it. Relax. <laughs> Nominations are open. <laughs> Like, are you willing to tell me how much above or below the uh, the list of roles is yours from the one you claimed to be day one? I I told you I didn't lie to you. Oh, wait. Oh. I told I you Michael bad. lied to you. Right. <laughs> right. Sorry. Oh, Christ. Oh, I was gosh. convinced I'm evil. <laughs> um, I'll nominate Mia. Of course. <laughs> Al nominates Mia. Why? Um, breaking news. Hallow thinks Mia is evil. Um, more at 11. Um, y y yeah, strong social read here. <laughs> Mia? So, Hallow thinks that me and a player who was killed in the night are evil. I feel like the world doesn't make sense. Um, they were also, they pivoted from a double claim into a really mysterious claim. And uh, this would be a you. bad kill. We would need five for this to pass. He's a flying killer, probably not the demon. Eh, I mean, I'm, I I'm think Mia might be the demon. <laughs> I'm assuming Mia lied to me. Uh, I'm based I'm on surrounded what they by claim. two. I have I a king think, on either side. I, I don't, don't think, think I'm the demon. Told anyone the truth this game. You actually have a queen on one of your sides. Thank you very much. Sorry, that's that's four, so true. Four is not enough. Mia is safe. Uh, are we happy uh, with two kings on? I, I, I'm not. Hmm? I'm not happy with it either, but I'm not as confident that one of the kings is the demon, you know? Um, nominate Micah. Lifey nominates Micah. Why? Because uh, Hollow spent their nom. Um, I'm also of the opinion that Micah is evil. Micah's in a double claimless farm, as I'm aware, and I currently trust the other person more. Micah? Okay. I'm aware of the double claim. I've been aware of the double claim since the very start of day one. Uh, also, I'm the person who died last night. We would well, that would have been nice to know. <laughs> that we would need five for this to pass. Are we thinking Yusuf's a good nom after this? Yusuf's not bad. I, I think Yusuf is a good nom. Um, I'll nom Yusuf if not, after. If not, I think we go for the kings. Right. One of them. Okay. I'm happy to nominate Akana. Autumn nominate, Autumn nominate Yusuf. Why? Um, I think this is probably a decent kill. A uh, fair amount of people seem to agree. Uh, I think it's definitely a safe decision to go for one of the kings, but I also think it's less likely that one of the kings is the demon, so I think this is probably just a better shot. Yusuf? Um, 
my execution here is uh, bad uh, for town, but it's not that bad. Like it's a uh, medium rare execution. <laughs> Uh, medium <laughs> if i say so myself uh if you want to execute me you can uh i have told people what i am and uh i have told people especially today i've been i the people i talked to today i told them what i uh we would need a uh, five for this medium rare fog execution to go through no yusuf you're making this execution sound awfully appetizing <laughs> yay you really are. Like, I'm keeping my head up 100% because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy, happy. Five is enough. Yusuf's on the block. I'll say final call. Five, four, three, two, one. Yusuf, prepared method of execution. Uh, hug by a barrel fog. You say, what by a barrel fog? Hugged by a bear of fog. Got it. Okay, you got a bear hug from a barrow fog. Got it. Um, it is quite a gory experience, and I would say that town sparrow fogs you no love. You are executed no. and die. No. And everybody goes to sleep. Oh my goodness! More gifted subs. 25 more gifted subs from CB. CB, you are amazing. That one, that wasn't a non. Thank you, CB. Wow. CB just uh, got mechanically confirmed as a 25 gift sub gifter. Um, we can also just pretend we did not see it uh, and say that that was, that was definitely um, anonymous. CB is confirmed good. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> so... Um, okay, so no more Sarah Madness. Sean is claiming Damsel. Yeah. Uh, no one spawned. Thank you for the uh, gift sub to uh, T.S. Jocko. A hype train is starting. Choo-choo. Uh, who do we go to first? I think we go to Mia first. Please choose a player. Uh, I'd like to choose Hallow, please. You got it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ooh, that okay. Hello. Uh, please choose a player. Well, this is working out fine. I think uh, people seem to think Hello's evil and aren't buying their very strong social reads and mechanical information on me. <laughs> um, Ryback's already dead. DJ's already dead. I think Gibbo was the choir boy. I think that's why Ekin was so reluctant to have Gibbo executed. So I don't think there's another choir boy out there. I think I would be safe to kill Ekin. But I kind of want to just let the king thing play out. I don't want to make it look like yet another night where supposedly the player knows that they've died in the night. Which, by the way, it's working out much differently than I expected with everyone claiming to know that they've died. Crazy, right? Yeah. One of them's lying, of course. But, you right, know. of course, yeah. I think they might execute Hallow. Lifey claimed cannibal and is getting poisoned pixie info off Yusuf, hopefully. Autumn claimed farmer, which is gross, but uh, do I want to kill Mia tonight? Well, Mia claimed it to Ekin, too, so it's probably fine, actually. Yeah, I'm going to kill Mia. You got it. Thank you very much. All right, so now... That's a good choice. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, but it does mean that we are now at six alive. Yes, Um. it does also... It'll confirm to Mia uh, that... Um, that they were the kill for tonight, but not until tomorrow night. Right. So in the she morning, won't know until then. Who knows if they've died? Uh, she won't know yet. Um. All so, right. So interesting. Here's what we do. We give Ekin drunk. I think that Ekin should know that there's a drunk out there. Um. I mean, the drunk farmer hasn't been targeted yet, so. I mean, it is useful. We don't know what Sean's going to do. Sean's going to try to stay on uh, on Damsel or not. So it might be useful, but I'm not 100% sure it's the best choice right now. Okay. So I, I do think that Mez would be a good choice. Ooh, a living Mez. That's an interesting thing to learn. Yeah. Um, also, let's not forget, Yusuf, uh, Yusuf's bluff was as Pixie, so uh, Autumn can get poisoned information. 
Um, we could show Farmer. Go to we Autumn show, and show Farmer? Yeah, we show Mez to Ekin and then show Farmer to Autumn. <laughs> sure. I'm down with that. Um, Autumn getting King is also useful because, like, you know, a lot of people think that Yusuf was, was quite likely evil. That's right. fair. It would technically confirm life even though life is the drunk. Okay. I'm thinking we still stick with the story, though. We go with Ekin. We show Ekin Mezephiles. We show Autumn Farmer. I think that's what. Um, I think that's the. No, now you're not liking it. No, I mean I think Molly has a point that it does end up just confirming lifey, and it doesn't appear poisoned. But at the same time, if everybody thinks that Yusuf is evil, then maybe it also just makes lifey look evil. Like we're backing up the evil pixie, uh, seeing a bluff role. So, eh? Yeah. Oh my I goodness. Mean, so. Ten more gift subs from No One Spod. Thank you so much. Uh, we are now at an all-time high of level six on the hype train. My goodness. Oh, nice. Thank you. Uh, all right. The barrow. So, um, barrow fog only happens. Only checks during the day. During the night, dead players are dead. Yeah. So basically, like you know, they lose their ability like normal because they're dead, and then during the day is when they register as alive. So rolls right. that go at night. Uh, still essentially like see them as dead with some exceptions of roles that must pick living players like uh, Chambermaid, for example. But but we don't have one of those. So we don't have to worry about it. We sure don't. Um, all right, let's go to Ekin. Hello, Ekin. Hello, am I getting information? I am giving you information. Yay, I'm alive. I am showing you Mazepheles. Ah, uh, fuck. Come on. No. That's, that's what I that's what I got. Thanks. You're very welcome. Hello, oh. Autumn. Oh my god. Okay, I trust life he's good at this point. I'm going to show you mm -hmm. the, the token of the farmer. Are you saying that I am the farmer now? No. I am showing I that would be a you are the farmer. I am just showing you um. the token of the farmer. Oh, is this... Wait, is this the pixie ability? I cannot confirm nor deny that. Uh... Anyway, have fun! Uh... <laughs> That's the correct reaction. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> Autumn got there in the end, so... Yeah, she'll know, figure good it out. For it, but, uh... <laughs> yeah. It can be confusing as a cannibal. The storyteller just, like, wakes up and does a thing, and then you have to be like, wait, what on the script does this? And then some things kind of look similar to each other, and you sort of, often when you're playing online, uh, you've, especially in the old app, um, but anytime you're doing, like, speaking with the player instead of showing cards, you just forget that there's a card that indicates when you change roles. Right. And so getting shown a token can definitely be super confusing. Yes. But, you know, like I said, Autumn got to Pixie. Um, that's important. Now it's kind of just a question of like, if people think Yusuf is evil and this info is cannibal, are we correctly framing Lifey? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we're going to find out. I do hope that's what we're doing. It's going to be a wild... This is already a wild game, but let's see what happens. Town! Welcome back. I'm going to let my harrow fog down around you guys and be pretty honest with you. Nobody died last night. Cool. Uh, Maida, could I ask you a question in uh, private? Yes, Noms in four minutes. Come back at 41 past. Does anyone Heck know if there's a I need to just... Okay. If I ate a drunk, would this technically be allowed as part of me cannibalizing the drunk? What do you mean? So you showed me the farmer token. The uh -huh. only role I see here that could possibly be responsible for that is Pixie. But I'm not sure if, like, if Yusef was the drunk... Because the drunk, you know, you think you're a townsfolk. So if you showed... I'm asking, is it mechanically possible that I ate a drunk right now? Or am I getting it wrong with, like, ruling and stuff? It is mechanically possible that you ate a drunk, yes. Understood. Okay, thank you. No problem. Uh, might you be the Mazepheles? Um, I am not. I believe that's Micah. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yes, I got a Mez word from Micah on day two. Did you use it? No! <laughs> Okay, let's. I let's think evil's play. on the back foot. I mean, I still have it in my pocket if I want to flip at the last moment, but like. <laughs> okay, let's kill Micah then because I learned Mez. Yeah. Right. All right, happened again. Sterno's madness, pixie madness, nonsense. 
Yeah. But and I've I think also we, to, heard. To say, yeah. Go ahead. Well, in yesterday too, I heard of a a, a potential cannibal that never oh, came and approached me. Be? So it would have been kind of helpful if there was actually one. Um, I will say, I give a little to bit of confirmation. They actually gave. They actually gave. They learned she got information. They did. That's what they told me. Oh, good. Okay. Cool. And they learned. Right. The, so I can the actually direction. be direction. Yeah. Extremely unhelpful. Yes, they told me Yusuf wasn't the demon, and then I died. All right. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. No, it's not a lie, but yeah. So yeah. me is probably a good shot at this point. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, are you still the farmer? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do we have so? Because like right back is claiming to have died night two. I don't, and Mia's claiming to have died, um, night three, or night. Yeah. I'm sorry for dragging you down with us. Okay. Um, who's the big bad in all of this? Uh, before that, uh, what are you actually? Because you shouldn't be mad anymore. Nope, I am actually the Shigenja who learned an anti-clockwise, so that's staring directly at you, my friend. Oh, really? Are you sure? Yep. Because there's a different Shigenja. Uh, that would be a cannibal Shigenja. No, it's not the cannibal. Hello is claiming Shigenja. Oh, and they're actually, uh, then I don't know what's going on, but I am looking at the Shigenja token and I was woken up and was told, one, I'm mad as the Shigenja, hilarious by the way, <laughs> and two, um, I learned an anti-clockwise. So I don't know what Hallow's doing. Okay, well, I didn't learn of a, uh, a, a damsel. I didn't learn of a damsel, so they're not the damsel. I don't know what they're doing though. I, oh, they might be the choir boy. No, I I I picked you last night, and nobody died. And yeah, it's not me. It's probably you. My guy is definitely the mess. By the way, uh, that's fair. But Micah cannot be the demon, right? Wait. Well, no, yes, it... but Micah is no. Micah can't be the, the mess because both kings learned mess last night. Uh, okay. I'm having a great <laughs> time. Both of my best friends are evil. Wait. So Micah. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Micah can be evil. Sorry. Uh. And and actually also the demon. But aren't doesn't one of the kings have to be evil? No, there could just be a pig. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh. I uh, carried you all here on the wings of a sparrow fog. Nominations are open. It was only a matter of time I, before that happened. Yeah. That's a strong sparrow. Did, mm -hmm. did we ever learn if Yusuf or Micah were the pixie? Yeah, I was pixie. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's so basically, oh, well, Micah's just the mess, so. If, if I may have the floor for a moment. Um, I spent the last three days getting nightly brainings from our lovely storytellers and the Sarah Novus. Um, I've been mad the last three days. I am actually, for real, for real, the starting Shugenja who learned in anti-clockwise. Yep. Okay. Okay. Vibes are Mia, Micah, Lifey is the evil team here. I mean, I think Wolfie is evil. That's I'm how I'm reading not. the Shigenja. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think Wolfie's the Ingle one. Okay, it, it could be it could be Mia, Micah, Yusuf. How is hello. Wolfie not evil hello. or Ekin in either half of your world? Hello, hello. Um, Micah cannot be evil unless someone died in the night and doesn't realize it because both kings got info last night. Oh, it could well have been me. I I could have done so. I have been got to. There easily. there are quite a few roles here which would not know if they died. Yeah, I. I have mm -hmm. no idea if I'm dead or not. <laughs> Second call for nominations. Uh, Bia nominates Wolfie. Why? I think one of the kings has to be evil. Um, if Sean's info is correct, which is the same info that Sean gave on day one, so like maybe this is like the real thing in the sea of Serenovus uh, madness, then if Ekin is the evil one, it clears like so much of the grim. I just don't think that's realistic. Wolfie? Um... The Shugenja info is pointing at me, but it also is pointing at you and Ekin. Uh, and if we're uh, and if we're following Hallow, uh, what Hallow's saying, if Mike uh, is the Mez, then Ekin and Micah are equidistant, so it the uh, information doesn't really matter. But uh, I also believe that you are evil as well. So 
I I'm still gaining information, so I want to be left alive. We would need five for this to pass. Way too many hands. Yeah. Well, Evil's say? voting on me, so please. Started, people started raising it afterwards, so. I think Wilkie is like the evil, but I don't think they are the demon. But yeah. I mean, I think those are top demon candidates right there. Five is I enough. Will be, I will be nominating Ekin, please. Wolfie nominates Ekin, why? Um, I know for a fact that I am good, and Ekin came out of the gate and double claimed me immediately, so I believe Ekin has to be evil. Uh, and there, I think there was like like six or seven votes on me, so evil was definitely voting on me. Uh, and both of both of the kings, both me and Ekin saw Mez, so. I saw Mez first, I outed the Mez info first, um, I, the Shugenja is pointing closer towards you, I think you're just evil, somebody else outed as Pixie, so let's keep it here. We would need five for this to tie, or six to pass. Just because I'm closer to the Shugenja doesn't mean I'm the evil one in the Shugenja info. And I also outed it in Town Square when there are like two other people and they can attest to it. And I told Hallow. I mean, what if you're just the Mez and that's why you know there's a Mez in play? <laughs> what if? I mean, that's a distinct possibility, but... <laughs> two is not enough. Uh, Hallow nominates Mia. Why? Um, I'm having a fucking great time in this tunnel down here, and I think everyone else should join me. Mia? Um, I understand why I'm a demon candidate. Some people have my real role and the info that, that has gathered. Um, this, I think it's really a bad idea to lift off of the king double claim in the Shugenja ping when Saranovas and Pixie are both accounted for. We would need five to tie, six to pass. I mean, well, Mia, I don't you... think the king double claim is the demon. I think you're the demon. <laughs> I mean, Mia, you lied straight to my face on, so... I mean, I mean, is, aren't I supposed to? Isn't that the... Didn't we all agree? Two is not enough. Final call. Mia and Ekin are pairing together a lot, so uh, you can execute me and then just execute Ekin tomorrow. Or Mia. Wolfie, how would you prefer to be executed? Uh, can I be, have my, can I have my head chopped off by a guillotine like, uh, like the French did to their monarchs? Sure. Um, we decide to get you into the old guillotine and give me two seconds. I'm going to try to, f I'm going to find a way. I don't know how I'm going to find a way. Um, I believe in you, uh, your body turns into a barrel log. <laughs> <laughs> how about, you know what, you know what I'll say, Navian, that joke? was in their o fog like swimwear o fog everyone go to sleep it was pretty good that was a good joke yeah i mean you know a limbless body is just kind of like uh flopping there very very cylindrical like oh wolfie's executed sorry uh all right so we've got a died today and a poisoned on autumn micah goes first micah goes first Please choose a player. Well, I'm probably making it to... I guess people probably just keep executing here. So final four, I guess, because they haven't executed any of the people I've picked. And yeah, well, apparently the cannibal is hard night watchman confirmed, so I have to kill Lifey. Have to kill Lifey. You got it. There is no mechanical discerning that Lifey is dead. Uh, no, there sure isn't. Um, although... I don't know if Lifey and Autumn were specifically in a role swap or Lifey was just bluffing it really well, uh, but I, I think it was probably a role swap and that seems to have worked. Uh, but that does mean Autumn is alive to receive some poisoned info. Yes, and what do we give? Um, okay, here's a thought. Maybe a bad thought, but... Love, love bad thoughts. What if we show the same thing that we show Ekin? Show them the same thing? Ooh, or Mullabach has an interesting idea. Make Autumn think that it's dead by not waking because we're allowed to do that. And then Mia would be like, no, I'm dead. And then conflict. Well, Mia would have been dead yesterday. Right. Because the exorcist goes before, before the, demon. the demon. Yeah. So Mia would have to backtrack the night order and realize that they were dead yesterday. Autumn could end up thinking that it's dead tonight instead of Lifey, who mechanically can't be tracked. 
And then depending on who gets X tomorrow, <laughs> if Otto doesn't die, that might get, uh, you know. Oh, no, wait. It's going to be four alive, isn't it? <gasps> it's going to be four alive. They'll go to sleep. And then Autumn gets to remain poisoned. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's just not wake Autumn. Yeah. Uh, we have to give Ekin either Cannibal, Barrow Fog, or Choir Boy. Right. So it does have to be an alive player for the king. Yeah. Um, so if we show Cannibal, then we're confirming Autumn as being alive. So I think that's not the right choice. I think we just give Choir Boy. We have to give Choir Boy, right? Yeah, I think so. All right. Hello, Ekin. Hello. I am going to show you the token of the Choir Boy. Really? That's what I got. That's impressive. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> Micah, drunk could be fake dead or fake alive. It's true. The, the drug could be fake dead or fake alive. It is true, and I think that makes for really interesting things for a storyteller to do. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Choir Boy confirms all living think it's too punishing. I don't necessarily know that it does confirm all the living, unfortunately. Right. Uh, Lifey very much is likely to think that they are alive here. Um just because Autumn's going to claim to have probably died since we didn't wake Autumn last night, even though Wolfie was bluffing King. And like usually to a cannibal, you would bluff the role that evil is claiming. Right. So Autumn's likely going to think uh, that she's died. Um, meaning that Lifey and Micah would be the unconfirmed, but also, I mean, Ekans in a double claim. Most people probably think Wolfie's the evil one of that, but, you know, who knows? Uh, I think it's going to be an interesting final three, no matter what happens, though. If we get to final three, um, they might execute. It's yeah, yeah, it's possible. They could absolutely end up executing a player who claims to have died in the night, because that can be faked by evil, either choosing to sink a kill or knowing that they're sinking into or killing a player who uh, like isn't going to wake and they trust that claim. So, right. And if a, um, if it appears a live player is executed, the cannibal does not get any info. Uh, right. Because they are in fact actually dead. They still maintain the same ability because nobody actually died by execution. So autumn would still be a poisoned cannibal. If Mia were to get tapped. Right. So they might they might end up killing Mia. They might end up killing Ryback. They might end up killing Micah if they can figure out, hey, we can kill uh, a died in the night player for free here on four. Let's see if they figure that out. Yes. Much like the circle of you guys getting together, uh, town has gotten together under the useful shade of a sombrero fog. Ooh. Oh, nice. I have, uh, I've and used also, I died not last night but the night before interesting well hang oh, on I didn't get to tell you about who I didn't get to tell you about who died last night mm -hmm. nobody died last who night <laughs> John. All right. Lifey and how or Lifey and give yeah that's so funny yeah, yep. Three yep, minutes. it is really funny how it is really chat? funny yeah. what are you even claiming Mia Oh. Yes, I got Choir Boy. Cool. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm doubly confirmed not the demon. Let's go. Okay. Um, Either that or you're evil. <laughs> I'm, I'm just good. I'm just good. Oh, no, I believe you. I mean, you have to because I have to be in the game. Yes. Unless well, I mean, it could be Wolfie. Because Wolfie wasn't killed by a demon, therefore I wouldn't have got info. But Yeah. No, I am inclined to believe you. Okay, um, so I'm assuming you're uh, like focused on Mia, but Mia claims to have died. Yeah, you know. Do you think it's a backtrack to cover up the fact that someone else died and Mia is just a demon? I mean, I think it's very possible that I'm dead because I gave Mia some inkling that I'm the choir boy. Okay, but, but you cannot be dead because I learned choir boy. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, so... gosh. Mia is good, but you definitely I... would do this as both evil. Mm Mia and Ekin are clearly partnering up. I I I believe we definitely have to kill Ekin. Uh if we're in final four, I think I could just be the drunk and Ekin just made a ballsy claim to double claim me. I believe I that think is the case. that yeah. I think we have, we have I think we surely have at least one evil dead and we don't need to do I think both. that's I think likely. we are I, fairly I think that's a fairly wrong misunderstanding. 
Um, I don't suppose there's an oracle who that could confirm that for us. I believe they did I've, first. Yeah, yeah, oracle. Yeah. Yeah. That is the token yeah. I had down. Yeah. I I will support an execution on Ekin. I d I think killing today. Ekin, what did you learn last? Huge Ekin, what did you learn last night? I learned choir boy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what's your reason for not wanting to kill today? Um, DJ, can we chat? Okay. Shouldn't we go to three? We don't I, know I if know. we're on three or not. But we we I might would... know because someone might learn that they died, and then that would be info. I think. I want to know what life is. I guess we can't night. be any lower than four. So technically it's safe, but also, like, if we hit someone who died in the night, we get an extra execution. Who from but if we don't, the game just ends. Would know that yeah, thing. but, like, I think the odds that, like, we actually get anything out of it are really slim. Based on the claims that are alive, I disagree. I guess. Okay. We are up against the clock, so I am going to say that it's time for you all to be aware of fog, that it's time to share o fog, where o fog, we're going. Uh, I think we're at four alive and should sleep. There's a bunch of claims that would potentially learn if they died, which would be useful. And Actually. some of these people are cleared, not the demon. So... Um, Hallow nominates Mia. Hallow nominates Mia. Why? Um, Mia is either good and dead, and therefore we can execute her safely, or just the demon. Mia? Oh, yeah. I'm good and dead, so this is fine. But yeah. So this is actually, equivalent to yeah, yeah. yeah, actually, y'all should kill me. You're right. <laughs> we would need four for this to pass. I would like to close this tunnel for myself. Hold on. Wait, shit. I realize the world where this is bad. If Mia is a minion yes. speaking this. Yes. Yes, of course. And look at okay. Uh, we Ooh. I think we need to spend devos. We need to go for Ekin today. No, this is I insane. Don't. No, this I trust insane. Ekin. Okay, I, please. I don't like, condone like, an Ekin execution. Yeah, that's fair. We should kill uh, Ekin. Real quick, real quick. Can I please? Um, so, uh, Lifey, I'm just gonna come out with it. Okay, I think it's worth it. Um, me and Lifey have been in a roll swap all game. Uh, I'm the cannibal. I died last night. Um. Uh, Lifey is, I mean, li li I don't need to out Lifey. Yeah, That's Lifey's choice. Yeah. Uh, um, you, I've known about this since day two. Um, what? Did you get info on Yusef? Yeah. Um, so, uh, I picked, uh, on night two when I got the night watchman ability, I picked Gibbo so I could hard confirm myself. Um, and also learned that I wasn't the drunk. Um, night three, uh, I learned anti-clockwise. Um, night four, I saw the farmer token. Uh, I fully trust Lifey because, you know, I, I claimed cannibal to him day one, and then I hard confirmed myself to the night watchman, so I don't think Lifey is ever evil in any world because he would have killed me. Autumn, can I say this? You've actually proven my world. DJ Nominates Gibbo, or no, not Gibbo, but DJ Nominates Ekin. My apologies. Why? So here's the world I think that's happening. Wolfie is the drunk king. Um, Autumn, the reason you learned. Um, Pixie and Lady Dyke, because Lifey was Mez turned, thus the only town for those alive that's not yourself. With that, Lifey's Mez turned, Hallow's Mez, Mia's Zerno was Ekin, Demon, who didn't know it was a king, I got unlucky. Let's ask you what Ekin right now, because I think Ekin's the best demon character we got. I am good. I claimed after Wolfie claimed I would not do that as a demon. Um, I confirmed Gibbo's Night Watchman ping. Um, I could have just lied about it. Uh, I am just good here. Um, I think it was Mia. Um, it is Mia hiding the fact that there was a death. Uh, but we are at four. If you kill me here, the fog just kills somebody and we lose the game. So do not vote on this. We would need four for this to pass. Also, Eka knew about the roll swap and knew about me being the hard confirmed cannibal on day two. I don't think he'd leave me yes. alive for another two days after that. I think Ekin is... I don't know why Ekin would lie I, I, lie about the ping if he's evil. Mm. Two is not enough. Make him look good. Yeah. Makes yeah, Ekin uh, look good. Final call. Hello, why can't I be drunk? Because uh, I'm the choir boy, Wolfie. Hang on, hang on. Uh, guys, uh, okay, that makes sense. Ekin, you were making a nomination? No, I wasn't making a nomination. Oh, no, I that was me. I, there was a choir boy. Lifey, who are you nominating? Hello. Hello, why? Um, I think DJ's confirmed not demon by outsider count. And Mia and Nekin have already been nommed, so yeah. Hello? Lifey, I've known about your role swap since day two. Would I not have killed sh killed Autumn 
after Sean, the person I knew to be the Shugenja, was executed. We would need four for this to pass. I want to just, I want to just sleep right now. I do like, not want someone. I do not want someone to get a Night Watchman ability and a Shugenja ability. Like that's not gonna fly with me if I'm a demon. <laughs> and a Vixen <laughs> ability. It occurred to me. How do you know, Autumn, that you're dead and not poisoned? Um, I mean, I didn't wake last night. But couldn't that, you be poisoned if Wolfie's just evil? Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I could. I, I think. I mean, I do think Wolfie is just the evil one for what it's worth. But if I'm somehow Autumn, alive, then what? good. Three. What did you learn? Oh, Two. oh yeah, you didn't learn anything last one. night. No. No one is executed. The Vortox wins. Everybody go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, spicy. Definitely spicy. Oh, definitely. I really do hope that Autumn dies, and then Ekin has to get either King or Barrow Fog, and either way. Yeah, exactly. Either way, he's just going to give us that, oh my god, what are you doing to me? Yeah. Please choose a player. <sighs> well, very successful world swap. Congratulations. I wonder who the hell caught it. Um, so I've got a landmine to trip over because there's a farmer that has gone to someone. Okay, so logically speaking, if if Ekin really learned Choir Boy, it can't have gone to Hallow. It has to be Autumn, which means Autumn's never getting executed. It doesn't matter if I kill a player who is going to get executed because there are four players left alive they'll execute somebody doesn't matter who and i'll kill one of the players that i know are alive and it goes down to one so it doesn't matter who i kill tonight as long as i don't hit the farmer or like frankly at this point i could kill the king it probably should kill the king actually mm. king's so interesting with barrow fog and script rules tell tell uh tell zets that zets will probably enjoy hearing that yeah i will kill hallow thank you kill hallow thank you very much that works so ekin we, learns barrel fog yeah i think so like i think it, we we don't want to show cannibal here because it just uh to ekin that just definitely solves the game for sure i think like, so cannibal is difficult to bluff but it's not impossible to bluff right especially when two of the executions were uh on your minions uh the suspected minions of like wolfie and probably you know uh yusuf right um so i think autumn is still a decently strong demon candidate uh let's see i agree uh, i think goodwill oh. lose if ekin gets cannibal we have to show ekin borrow fog um, yeah, Autumn's still poisoned, so we're still not waking Autumn. So I think we just have to show Barrow Fog here. I like, technically yeah. we could show King, um, and if, if Hallow had, um, been alive and Autumn dead, then I might have, uh, I might have gone for King, but I think Barrow Fog is yeah. also fine. They're both funny. All right. Still alive. Oh my god, how? I'm giving you Barrow Fog. Oh, of course. Thank you. Thanks. Nobody died. No one has been sparrow fogged. Nominations are going to be quick, so give me like a minute and then we're doing nominations because we're running up against time. Autumn Lifey already. told me farmer on day two. Did anyone become the farmer? Yeah. I'm dead, so no. I mean, my shrug info could easily have been poisoned from Sean being evil. I think Hollow is more likely the good one. Um, Ekin. I Roll. Sparrow fog. Very unhelpful. Oh my god, that's so rude. <laughs> I, feel like you feel like you I mean, to be else. fair, I think I think Ekin has probably learned all of the alive characters yeah. at this point. Uh, Ekin, Ekin, can you post your information mm -hmm. in chat, please? Probably. Sure. What did Ekin learn? Oh, it was Choir Boy, I think, right? It was uh, Mez Choir Boy. Mez Choir Boy, Barrow Wait, who the, the fuck? Who the fuck's hey, the Choir Boy? <laughs> Me! Hello! Hi, oh, it's me. Right. Um, okay. Demeda, can I say possum just in case? Okay. I mean, you say whatever so you want. This is America. So are we executing <laughs> Mia or are we executing Micah? We can't execute really Micah because we believe Micah's already you dead. Right? got info oh, when I don't Micah believe Micah's died. Dead. I believe Micah's the mess. So there's, yeah, there's a world where Yusuf is evil and Micah's also evil. Um, I think that executing me today is like just very silly after yesterday like i don't know like i should have just gotten executed yesterday and i kind of wish that i had 
Like there's no, I was extremely down to kill myself. There was no like reason for me to do that. That doesn't involve a world where evil is like stomping right now. So no, I it's a lie because Hollow hasn't triggered. DJ, we think, is confirmed by Outsider Count. You're just taking my word for it. Autumn is confirmed by Gibbo. Is it Lifey or Micah? Uh, well, I told Lifey knew I was the cannibal on day one, and on day two knew I was hard confirmed because of Night Watchman picking Gibbo. Lifey's not evil. There's no way he wouldn't have killed me at, at, by that point. Okay, oh. It's just Lifey. It's not Lifey. Um, I mean, DJ could absolutely have been killed knowing that there'd be no way for him to tell if he's dead or not, and then Mia's just faking to be dead, right? Second call! He has to be faking to be dead. I think, I think it is just Mia. Go take a shot. Yeah. Yep. I'll vote on Mia, I reckon, today. I just posted my exorcism vote. Um, I'll vote on Mia or Micah. I just don't... Here's the other thing. If I'm, if I'm the demon, I'm getting bodied by my own minion claiming king next to me, I am clearing a ton of people at the very end. I just don't think socially it makes sense. Uh, we... Can can we account for seven of us picks? Um, after Sean died, was there anybody that's been picked that can say now? Sean, were you locked the whole time um, until you died and then moved on? Yeah, I I was I was locked um... Um, starting from night one, night two, and night three. Has anyone been made seven of us mad since then? Final call for nominations. I'll nominate Mia. Ekin nominates Mia, why? I just think this makes the most sense. I could be the marionette here losing the game, but whatever. Mia should have told me by now. Mia? Uh, you are not my marionette, and probably not the marionette, given that Gibbo's dead. Um, I think that... How do I want to put this? If y'all wanted to chase this world... You really should have executed me yesterday. I think it's someone that we're not really considering. Either Lifey or I guess like maybe Micah even. But I I just don't think that y'all should kill me. Like I think that this is doubling down on a mistake from yesterday. Uh, we would need uh, four for this to pass. I think we need another. I think I can might it's probably drop. Even. I think look, Wolfie's evil. Wolfie's evil dead voting on me. I I think this is just wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Lifey, Micah, Mia. Is the I refuse to think Ekans evil. Sorry. Seven is enough. Ekans Mia's on the block. Leave me alive. Final call. Uh, Autumn, did Micah know your claim? Uh, Micah knew I was claiming farmer Five. all game. Four. DJ on it, Ekin. Why? I, I still can't shake this tunnel that Wolfie's the drunk, Ekin's the demon who got into this claim on accident and had to stick with it the whole time. Ekin? It's all kinds of wrong and we don't have the votes, so don't bother. Uh, seven to tie, eight to pass. I don't think that's the vote. Yeah. I think I'm... I have been just the drunk, but it's too late to do anything. Two's not enough. Five. Four. Uh, Mia nominates Lifey. Why? Uh, Farmer is a good uncheckable thing. One of the few uncheckable people who I was not able to clear. Um, yeah, I think that this is a pretty good demon candidate. And Lifey is just social playing Autumn, potentially. Lifey? Uh, I'm not a social player. No other defense. We would need seven to tie, eight to pass. Here, have a pity vote. I am going to be so annoying when we all lose together. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, you I mean, I have been pushing on you for three days, together? so it's not exactly my fault. <laughs> Wolfie, you are evil. Don't three quit. Come on, enough. it's unbecoming. Going to end the game <laughs> in five, four, three, two, oh, one. Oh, God. Mia, how would you prefer to die? Um, I'd like to do a death drop <laughs> grave, I suppose. I missed all of that. I, sorry, I would like to do a death drop into the grave, please. Okay. Uh, yeah, that happens. I got nothing. Dude, after all of these puns, I got... I'm, I'm, I'm out, all right? I'm out. Um, oh, we could take a we could take a trip to Barrow Prague. How about that? I, I was going to say death row fog. 
Oh, good. That works. Yeah. That's not bad. I was thinking uh, that you kick one leg out, uh, so it kind of looks like it's squarofogged. Nice. We've already done the sparrow fog chat. Sorry. All right. Uh, everybody go to the next game because the game is over. Congratulations to our evil team. Well done, evil team. Fuck. Should have said it one day earlier, damn it. <laughs> well, well, okay, well. You weren't going to be the first anyway. Sorry. It, it, yeah, it would have had to no. have been more than one day earlier. Yeah. Micah, you were the demon, were you? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Micah... I was trying to drop in too late. <laughs> Can we just do the Grimville, please? Yes. Micah was your borrow fog. Damn it. was your barrel fog. Uh, who took the bluff of Flower Girl. Uh, Yusuf was your Saranovas who took the bluff of Pixie Flower Girl. They coordinated that, coordinated that very well, so that when Micah died, Yusuf could claim to be the Pixie inheriting the Flower Girl ability. Except Micah never actually died on night three. Uh, we also had your other uh, evil player, which was Wolfie, or Mezephiles, who's... Whose mez word was indeed possum, but you got to it a little bit late, Hallow, because Sean actually got the word uh, on night I... two or on night three, I believe it was. Um, and Sean, your starting Shugenja, got the information of being uh, turned evil after they were executed. So that's fun. Um, we had DJ, your saint, who was killed very early, and we were really hoping that the Shugenja info was going to point to DJ, who would then be executed as a already dead saint and not end the game. That would have been hysterical if that happened, uh, but that is not how it actually ended up happening. We had Ryback, your oracle, who learned nothing because they were targeted by Micah on night two. We had Ekin, your king, and Hello, your choir boy. Hallow, you were killed last night. Ekin learned Choir Boy the night before. Then you died. And the only three players that were left alive were Ekin the King, Micah the Barrow Fog, and Autumn the Cannibal. Now, Autumn the Cannibal, if we had given that, basically would have solved the game. So, really couldn't have done that. Because Gibbo, the Night Watchman, picked Autumn. Or, sorry, picked Ekin, so that Gibbo, the Night Watchman, informed Ekin that they were... Uh, the Night Watchman, and then after we executed Gibbo on day one, uh, Autumn, the cannibal, gained the Night Watchman ability and picked and executed Gibbo to confirm that they were indeed the cannibal gaining the Night Watchman ability. So there was three people right there who basically confirmed each other. Uh, funnily enough, none of them were targeted by the Barrow Fog. Uh, we had your... Uh, we had Ryback killed, and then we had DJ killed... And then we had uh, Mia killed, but Mia didn't know this until the next night because Mia was your exorcist, and Mia goes before the uh, Barrow Fog does, so they would have gone, then be killed, but then not learn about it until the next night. Uh, Mia cleared a bunch of people, including, I believe, Lifey, your drunk farmer, which is why when Lifey died, no one learned farmer, uh, and... Uh, Autumn, your cannibal, I believe at that point, was poisoned because we had executed Sean, who was evil at the time, or what became evil that night, and Autumn as the cannibal uh, was shown the pixie... No, sorry, it was Yusuf. We executed Yusuf, who was claiming pixie, and then Autumn inherited the quote-unquote pixie ability and saw a farmer from Lifey to back up that Lifey was, in fact, the farmer. Um... In fact, Autumn was poisoned for most of that game because you guys executed Sean, you executed Wolfie, and you executed Yusuf, all three of which were evil, and Autumn basically did not get info for most of that game. Uh, we were trying to back up Wolfie or uh, Sean's claim, or sorry, Wolfie's claim of being king, but we also just basically just told Autumn, made Autumn think that maybe because they were poisoned, that they just weren't waking up because they were probably dead. Turns out Autumn was actually still alive in the final three. Uh, and that was your game of All Barrows Eve. Your bluffs were Pixie, Flower Girl, and Butler. Good game. Really amazing job, Micah. What? Hey. What a demon. <laughs> God damn it. I... I did not expect to win that game. I thought we were dying on So did uh, on I! I was like, Hallow's gonna out me, everyone's gonna believe them! I did out you, uh, no one listened. 